fine silver quarters only from Sons of Liberty Mint. SonsofLibertyMint.com. Oh, I just got stopped like two blocks you know ago. You look very suspicious. A judge ruled the New York Police Department's stop and frisk policy to be unconstitutional. Stop and frisk, a fancy way of saying that some people with badges have a right to hinder the freedom of movement and search individuals that haven't harmed anybody, has been used over two million times in New York City since its inception. A federal judge on Monday ordered that the NYPD deploy body cameras in five precincts as a way to provide an objective record of stops and frisks, allowing for the review of officers' conduct by supervisors and the courts. The ruling obligates that NYPD employees who work for the precincts guilty of the most stop and frisks in each of the five boroughs don the cameras, which is over a thousand NYPD employees in total, though that constitutes less than 3% of the total workforce of that outfit. One of those precincts is the 40th in the Bronx. You have no opinion on it? I'm not supposed to speak on it. Young minority men who have been stopped and frisked numerous times by the 40th precinct welcome the body cameras. If they wear body cameras, then it's only going to be better on us because they frisking us for no reason and now the whole world can see it. New York Police Commissioner Ray Kelly called the judge's decision disturbing and offensive. Disturbing and offensive? Well, I'm sorry to say, Mr. Kelly, but a lot of people don't think your top-down, big brother, tyrannical program is conducive to freedom. Also, more importantly than your feelings are the actions that you and your colleagues are doing, which are totally unjust. If you're a certain ethnicity standing on the corner, lieutenants, sergeants, they have no problem searching you, violating your rights, and racial profiling. He was holding me, he was going through your pocket, he was going up, down, he was going through my sweater. Then that's when, that's when he told me to keep my hands on my head. So I was like this the whole time. You want to go to jail? What, but, for, what, for what? Shut for your what? fucking mouth, kid. For, why am I getting arrested Shut for? Shut your mouth. What am I getting arrested for? For being a fucking mutt, you know what? Also, that's a law, being a mutt? Who the fuck are you talking about? People don't like police because of the harassment. And what civilians don't understand is that the police department is like forcing us to do these unreasonable stops or you're going to get penalized. Forcing us? No, sir. You're the one who chooses to act. By obeying, you're communicating that you value your paycheck more than your oath to protect others. The police department is pushing the new guys to be bounty hunters. And I use that word because that's exactly what it is. They're hunting. What's your, what's your name, officer? What's command you with? What command are you with? What's your name? What's your name, officer? Jacob and myself plan to be in New York City next week as part of the police accountability tour. We have a venue locked down for Wednesday, August 21st at 7 p.m. Theater 80. The details for that event are at coplock.org slash tour. Others, based in New York City, also working for police accountability, will join us there. We hope you will, too. Not a fan of stop and frisk? Don't wait for lawsuits. Don't wait for court rulings to protect you. Look out for yourself and others through the lens of a camera. If you have a smartphone, visit copblock.org slash apps and download one of the many free streaming applications. There you'll also find apps to listen to police scanners in your area and much more.